Hey everybody, this is Joyce Chow. Oh, actually, I'll just start all over. You can just leave it right there. I'm just going to go like this. Okay. Okay. Hey everybody, this is not a spring chick, and the big news today is, oh, that big I word that they don't want to hear. What is that I word? Wait a minute, even the Democrats are, what? They don't yeah. want to lose the fall election, and they're never, basically blaming ever, ever. one person, and this is the President of the United States. I, as in impeachment. Ooh. It's always tricky when your own party steps beside you, but part of it is, is they're learning, what, save your own hide first? Yeah. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines about today. Yeah. <laughs> and it's all over for the Republicans. Well, yeah, they're terrified of taking the president on. And I'm listening last night to one congr one scholar after another and one judge after another said, "You got to, you know, you can't let this continue." But the, the reason why I heard one of them, I think it was um, Carl Rose, said he said the reason why he said he knows what's going on. They're wanting this man to totally destroy the Democratic Party with his uh, one executive decision after another. And then they're going, when if they lose the presidency and they lose the Senate, they'll lose the Senate by enough more. They said they think the Republicans may get a supermajority when the, when the uh, Republicans come in as next president. And they said the idea is Republicans are going to simply, oh, here's Leo Obama. He said, you know what probably going to do? They, by executive order, they're going to outlaw abortion. They're going to outlaw gay rights. They're going to outlaw marijuana. They're going to outlaw by executive authority. And the Democrats will sit there and let it, you know, if they go to court to say, well, you can't do this, then the Supreme Court was going to say, you let your president do it. Now all the Republicans are in office, they can do it. Plus the fact they'll undo, uh, what happens is, federal judges only have appointment, they basically, they stay there at the, uh, at the courtesy of the Congress. If the Senate of the United States wants to fire all of, all of, uh, Obama's appointees, they can basically throw them out of office and everybody is a Republican. And then they got two Supreme Court justices that are Democrats that are <coughs> retiring. So uh, they will have the court system, they'll have the whole country, and you'll do what did, oh, what did Flea said I said was going to happen? That the, they were going to overreach and the Republicans would retaliate. And that's getting ready to happen. Mm -hmm. And the White House tells everyone how great this president is and condemns anyone from saying otherwise. I mean, they said this guy basically has a catastrophe on his hand with that stimulus thing, which was an $800 million gift to his, uh, his people, which when he's out of office is all going to be taken to court. Every single dollar he gave to donors and unions is all going to have to be accounted for. They have they said that um, every president that did a stimulus program has something... The, with his name on it, the, you know the highway system was uh, was was Eisenhower's. The rebuilding of the infrastructure in this nation was Franklin Roosevelt. The space program was John Kennedy. Bringing the Berlin Wall down was Ronald Reagan. What what does Obama have for one trillion dollars mm -hmm. in expenditures? Nothing but people that are pissed off about what he did because. There's, there wasn't any new roads built, no new buildings built. It was just a jobs program to keep Democrats and their constituency working. And Vergara versus California, do state laws protect teacher jobs over students? That's what it looks like. The tenure basically is more important than teaching, which I thought... I, I what? Come, I come from... Okay, we're going to tell you how this works. <coughs> I used to pick up $100 a day to be a substitute teacher. You know what I would come in and do? What? Oh, that's what I did for uh, during the time I was there for a hundred dollars. I set it at. And that was in what year? That was pretty good money too. That then. was like fifty years ago, and it's more than that today. So, uh, teachers basically, they they okay. We have the worst educational system in the world, and put the most money into it. Mm -hmm. That's disgusting. Yeah. And Ukraine opposition digs in despite regime concessions. Well, yeah. Watch his name. Putin is getting ready. They know that as soon as the Olympics is over, he's going to send Russian troops into the Ukraine, and when he does that, Obama's got big problems. Mm -hmm. Because then it means that the, the, uh, they said, well, the, I love this last night. Well, the reason that the, the, so many people on the right love Vladimir Putin, and I, and one person, what? In the report, this was a Democratic, they're trying, 
Republicans all hate the guy with the passion. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a known fact. Republicans worship the ground that Putin works on. And they think that we should have more men like him. You know, um, the, the guy is basically, you know, he's going, uh-oh, the guy's got a few little things. This is what he showed. <laughs> That's what he was doing with that. This is one of Obama's spokesmen. And John Kerry mocks those who deny climate change. Yeah, well, this, I, I heard it last night. They were really going after this one woman who basically, you know, this and that. And he said, is the Greek, he said, is this not the third, isn't this three winters in a row, one worse than the other? Well, but the ice is all melting. Is not the green, the green, uh, green piece ship stuck in the ice? Because the ice basically froze around it, and mm -hmm. and two icebreakers couldn't even get to it, and one of them will be there until God knows. They said they they may be there forever, because there's no global. The, the ice is not freezing. The ice is getting. The packs are growing bigger. Well, the Republicans are responsible. They said 97 percent of the people. 97. And they said. And then they said the people don't like. They said mm -hmm. uh, out of this. And this is a good one. Last night, one of the reporter. He said that uh, this. At the very bottom of the list of every country in the world is climate change. And they said, well, who? just tell me who's saying this. And they said, the people in the country. Well, who are these people that are saying it? The people that live in the country. Well, tell me who these people are. And they, uh, they're, the other two panelists, uh, what is with these people? Mm -hmm. No one cares about climate change. As you're, okay, I have relatives that are up to their knees in water and areas that basically are hundreds of miles inland in, in England because of the horrible, cold, damp, snowy, miserable weather. And they said that, okay, well, when did they see, you know when this last happened? What was it? Mm. You know, Flea says? Flea said it was in the 1970s. What was happening in the 70s? Well, we were finishing up the last ice age. Uh oh, what's happening? We could be going into another mini ice age again. Mm -hmm. You know, the last one wasn't caused by factories, it was caused by volcanic corruption. Oh, what's going on at the moment? We have an, ex we have an abnormal amount of volcanic eruptions, and each one of them go boom, puts more stuff in the air in one boom than every bit of pollution in the entire world does in one year. Mm -hmm. And House Democrats try to force votes on wage and immigration. <laughs> <laughs> Here, you know what? What's at the very bottom of the list next to global warming for things Americans care about? It's called immigration reform because there is no immigration reform and minimum wage increase because that it, you know how many people it affects. They said probably about two to three million people is all that affects, except for one minor little glitch in the system. Mm -hmm. The union wages are tied to the minimum wage. If you give a six dollar an hour wage increase to your to a, a person washing dishes at McDonald's. You then have to give that six dollars an hour to every union worker in the country by contract, and it isn't going to happen. Obama tried it, and then they said, "Well, it basically affects maybe twenty or thirty thousand people working for the federal <coughs> government because they all work on." These are people that aren't part of the union system, folks. And if you criticize Hillary, you're making war on women. Oh, I heard that one last night. Oh my you gosh! Which did you take a take a page from Obama? Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm watching a thing last night, and the woman reporter that basically blew the whistle on Hillary and all the, okay, the Clintons have now basically sealed off the Clinton Library from getting, from research until after the 216 election. What? Because they were, uh, a reporter basically was going through this stuff, oh my God, these people <coughs> totally and absolutely despise this woman. She's hateful, mean, bigoted, she was racist, everything you think of. And, uh, and she's a left-wing Democrat, she put it out because it's a left-wing publication about how hated this woman really is by everybody around her. So this Republican and Republicans and their and their um, their supporters making war on women. And she said, "I'm a woman, and, it, and it's a woman's organization." And, well, you support you support the Republic. Said I, I've never voted Republican in my life. Well, you're supporting them against Hillary. It's a war on women. <coughs> Japan scrambles against Chinese planes soar. Oh yeah, and, uh, and 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 Kerry went over there. He got really rough with the Chinese. What? He said the United States government, the, the United States is responsible for global climate change. We've got to do something. Up, but it's, they're supposed to be here talking about the China. The United States is responsible. We've got to pay restitution. 
They said you're supposed to be talking about the Chinese mill. The United States is responsible. They, too many people believe in flat earth and he, not one, he didn't bring up the problem with the Chinese doing anything, but he did condemn the United States. <coughs> yep. And I'm anti bubbleism for the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Uh, unless you're a Democrat, the impossible just takes a little bit longer. <laughs>